Los Angeles real estate folk. I want to talk to you today, right? If you are in L.A. and you're trying to get in the real estate game and you're not some celebrity, you're not a multi-bajillionaire, you're just a noob trying to hustle, trying to create some wealth for you and your family, this is the show for you. We're talking about L.A. investors working with real estate like this property on a very teeny tiny budget. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. This is your show. This is the show where I work with you, people like you, every day. Today we are working with JJ, an investor from L.A. And JJ, I like your style. You're a hustler. Uh, what you did is uh, you, you connected with us here at Holton Wise. We worked on some wholesale deals. Currently we have a flip under contract for you, right? We're uh, getting the inspection scheduled as I make this show for you. That inspection's in a day or two. And you wanted to get some more market knowledge and expand what you're looking with, right? You, you raised some funds from some other investors, and I believe you're raising some more funds. But you're trying to really understand everything about the market I represent, the Cleveland market, so you can convey that to all your investors, bringing up that private money, right? So even though you're not trying to do another deal until after that flip is uh, finished, completed, you wanted me to run the numbers and show you some properties that are on the market, and this one popped back on the market recently, and I thought this would be a great case study uh, for you to learn from, right? And before I get into that, folks, I just want to say this is what we do at Holton Wise, right? JJ's working with 125 k to do a flip. He's going to raise a little bit more money to buy rentals. This is 125 k rental. It's got two tenants. Rents about 15 hundo a month, right? You can't do that in L.A., right? It's really hard to get started in real estate in L.A. if you're – uh, working with that kind of money, right? LA is like the most expensive real estate market in the world. Uh, you know, we got all the celebrities and all the rich folk, all the tech people, you know, raising the housing prices. But guess what? There's regular people that live in LA as well, right? LA's got restaurants. LA has gas stations, things of that nature, right? Don't think you're just left behind, though, folks. Regular LA people, you can invest in real estate, too, and I help you do it, right? And I help you make sure... You understand the market is good as a local would, right? I work in Cleveland, Ohio, one of the cheapest markets ever. That's why JJ hooked up with me. That's why you guys could hook up with me, right? If you guys are interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one like JJ, you go ahead and send my team an email with your phone number or you click the show notes below to book a free call so you get your own set of personalized videos like this. Now, back to you, JJ. You're interested in looking at uh, some stuff, right? You've asked me to show you some multis for long term. You've asked me to show you some singles for long term. I'm going to do all that, working on several videos for you uh, today and over the next couple days. Now, this one's a good case study because I've actually analyzed this previously many months ago, like 600 episodes ago, right? As I talked to you, this is episode 1329. I did this in the 600s, right? It was episode 618, first time I looked at this. I had to look at this multiple times because we would put in offers and the sellers would never accept them, even if they were good. And then throughout the course of time, I had multiple investors asking me about it, right? But sellers never took any of the offers, right? I loved it at that time at that price. Now they've taken it off the market and put it about 35K higher. I no longer like it. Now, as a California guy, as an L.A. guy, you might be looking at this like, dang, dude, 125K, that's amazing. That's the perfect investment for me and my guys out here in L.A. Let's do it. But no, it's overpriced, JJ. It's overpriced right now at 125K. Made a lot of sense when it was priced lower. So what I'm going to do now is take you to the footage when it was appropriately priced. Please. I think it's too big. 
No, I think it'll shrink in the water. What this is, is 3029 West 104th Cleveland 44111. Solid, solid C class neighborhood, right? Listed at 899. We got two tenants, each tenant paying $750. And the units, man, everything's already done. It's, it's all done, guys. You don't have to do anything, right? It's got the gray walls, it's got the hardwood floors. It's neutral. It's clean. It's crisp. We got the white paint every which way, right? You know, sometimes we don't have to go through all the effort of a big old rehab. We got the modern kitchen. We even got the, like, you know, fancy, I don't know, reclaimed wood or whatever the hell you want to call that. You know, I'm, people love that crap, right? It's, it's great. It, it's all done, right? You don't have to do anything. This, this thing is just ready uh, for you to start making money. They even placed the tenants. They placed them at 750 okay? So just a, a solid deal, solid investment, which, by the way, if, if you're noticing, there's no garage. In Cleveland itself, guys, that's not a big deal. It's very common for these multifamily homes not to have a garage, right? It does not affect your rentability. Uh, it does not affect your vacancy, and it does not affect your resale value. Hey, lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. So if you're like, oh, man, I want to spend 20 k to put a garage in there and then resell the property. You, know, you don't want to do that, bro, because, you know, it's worth 89 right now. And if you put a garage in there, even though you spent 20 k in that garage, it's still going to be worth 89. There's no real value to the garage. Uh, so just a little tidbit there, right? So with all that, John, this deal, this one's going to fly. If you want to buy this deal, you're going to have to pay 89 because other people are going to want it because the numbers are so good, right? With that 1500 a month coming in, I anticipate spending approximately half of that, right? 742 out the door, leaving 752, 748 out the door rather, leaving 752 coming in the door, right? That's approximately 9 G's a year if you bought it at list price, which is 899, which is absolutely what this thing's worth, dude. That's a 10 cap and you have $30,000. You only need to spend 22 and a half and that should net you an estimated annualized performance of 25 percent cash on cash return right after you pay for all your expenses after you pay for my team to manage the asset after you pay off your mortgage which remember some of that mortgage payment is actually going towards your uh your, your principal right you're paying that money to yourself it's going to net you in your pocket a 25 percent return on your money and if i can take your attention back to the estimates of expenses right Repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, capital expenditures, right? 900 a year for each of those three items. Those are not necessarily things you're spending right now. That's a lot of money that's going in your pocket right now, right? You don't have to worry about vacancy and non-payment when you got two current paying tenants in there at 750 apiece. That's you saving that money for issues down the road because eventually you'll get non-payers, eventually you'll do evictions. Capital expenditures, that's you saving for when you have to redo that roof. Roofs last 30 years in the Cleveland market. And on a property like this, they're probably about 8 Gs, right? Furnaces last 30 years as well, approximately. They cost three grand. You got two in this property. Hot water tanks, you got to do those about every 15 years. Those cost a grand, right? So you're saving that $900 towards those big expenses. You don't got to worry about it now because we got a renovated house. But eventually you're going to have to deal with that, right? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.